Gray sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker. Grosette is right there, wildly in love. Solar Flare, the red cap is quick, then late night live. Wizard's on the outside. Magically's got the red headgear now running up into second position, then Sav Star. Behind that one is Deep Thought, is back third to last. And then Vivid Jet and the Edge is the trailer about seven lengths off the leader. Solar Flare going to bring him into the stretch. Magically is second. Then comes Wizards on the outside of that late night live. Behind that one is Crow Set. And then comes Wildin Love is near the rail. On the inside of that is Sav Star. <coughs> Solar Flare is the leader. Magically on the outside. Then Wizards. Vivid Jet putting a claim down the inside. Crow the outside. Deep Thoughts under pressure will struggle to run a place. And it's Solar Flare. Vivid Jet a big runner on the inside. Crow the outside. Solar Flare the leader down the inside, Vivajet coming strongly, they go to the line, I think Vivajet got it, second solar flare and then Crosset. Number five, Vivajet and Mark Dixon, I think will just make it home as they come down to the line, yeah, Vivajet wins at the Visionaire, this one for the Larsons and Lynn, and they win it from number four, Solar Flare, back in that second position. Crosette will run into the third place. And the fourth position will go to number one, Sav Star, and then Wiz of Odds. The tote favourite was number seven. Deep Thought was under early pressure, as we'll look at that head-on shortly. So, the leader, Solar Flare, with the red headgear, but the winner, Viva Jet, two off the left-hand side, comes well. This one bred by Lama Scroll and Keegan de Mello. They get up in the last jump. They have a good struggle the last 75 metres or so, and you'll find that Viva Jet puts its head down just in time to win it and win a close decision. The toad favourite was number seven, back to the studio. Well, welcome back to the winner's enclosure, and uh, I don't know where Dees is, but uh, Dees found uh, Vivid Jet, and in fact he's walking out the studio with a big sack, so uh, it must be to collect the money on Vivid Jet, but well done to uh, everybody concerned with this filly, Visionaire filly, but well done also to Mongezi, who is the gentleman who looks after Vivid Jet, your filly, well done Mongezi, congratulations, thousand rand, enjoy the money. There we go, let's get... Uh, Mark first, or Keegan, whoever's here. I'm going to say it, and uh, I'm going to say it, and whether I get my, I'm going to put my head on a chopping block, and if it gets cut off, well, so be it. One of the most approachable, friendly, down-to-earth, hard-working racing families you won't meet, yourself, your wife, your son, work rider, assistant trainer, a great package deal, well done with the win. No, no, thanks very much. Thanks, Warren. Yeah, it's a <clears throat> very pleasing win. She's, she's always showed us that she's quite a decent horse. And end of the season, because of what's happened and everything was so compressed, we decided to take a chance in, in them feature races. And she wasn't really right in her coat and we wasn't happy. So she came back and we, we sent her to Tracy Woolard, who did a great job with her, six weeks. I just brought her back slowly. And uh, you know, today, obviously, a very competitive field. The more I looked at it, the more I thought, geez, you know, it's going to take some winning this race but uh, I just thought we had a we had a good chance and um, the way she won you know I'm really excited about her now I mean she she Keegan was saying you know she she traveled all the way really nice and uh, I'm just so happy she got her head in front for Clint and Bruce you know two massive supporters of the stable without these guys especially during the year that we've just had you know we wouldn't survive so a big thank you to them both Talking about Clint and Bruce, they've been with you for many, many years. They're passionate about the game. They love every bit of it. They'll understand, like most, you know, the good times and the bad times and the expensive times. But uh, I know, and uh, talking to you off air, that wins like this for them especially and all your patrons are very rewarding. Yeah, I know. Look, uh, Clint always goes through the form and he's very, uh, very sharp. And he said to me, no, Mark, I think, I think she'll go very close to that. I said, well, that's, that's good enough for me. And, I mean, she was fit and well, and uh, she's come in a coach. She looked good, so uh, you know I'm just very pleased with them. Does Callan do most of the work riding on this horse? He used to take her until uh, Keegan saw how good she was, and he, he, he didn't take long for him to get on her back. <laughs> Mark, you've got two more runners, I think it is. Uh, what are you expecting? 
Lord of the Manor, I think, is a big runner today if he gets lucky in running from that wide draw. And we put the cheek pieces on. And um, Admiral's guest, he, he's always, always upset material. You know, he has the ability from that wide draw. Ashton will have to see how he jumps and, and take it from there. But no, they're both runners. Well done. Congratulations. Thanks, Mark. Lovely to talk to Mark Dixon. Keegan, you would have heard exactly what I said to Mark. They've been a family that have been close to your heart for a very long time since, uh, I think, since when you were your first year apprenticeship. Uh, Mark, Haley, uh, of course, Callum, they love their, their racing and they've certainly been good to you. Very good to me, um, Mr. Lamferno. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's racing families like this that really um, support you and uh, it gives you hope for the future because they've stuck with me through um, thick and thin. And, uh, yeah, just big thank you to Mr. Dixon, Haley, and obviously Callum also liked this filly. And, uh, yeah, she's not the easiest of fillies to work, and uh, the, the team have done exceptionally well with her. So just very well done to them, and thank you very much for the opportunities. Tell us about your run in transit. Uh, Mark was just saying it gave you a nice run all through. Yeah, all the way through, you know. Um, I would have liked to be a little bit closer um, knowing the filly, but uh, she, she didn't break well, and uh, there was a lot of pace on my inside, so I elected to give her a chance. And uh, from there, it was... Um, pretty much easy going. She, she had a nice smooth um, run up the straight and uh, asked her to quicken. She hesitated for one or two strides, which is um, which which I thought would happen because it is her first run uh, in a handicap. But uh, yeah, she's a very professional filly and uh, I think a lot of her, once she, she just needs to keep uh, keep the, the, the lid on the bottle. Keegan, uh, you're a busy man. You're traveling all over the country. A New Year's resolution we should know about? No New Year's resolution. Just want to make the people I ride for happy and uh, if I can do that, uh, it's a job well done, and uh, I'll be travelling and doing the work, and uh, just hope the winners come. Well done. Thank you very much. Once again, to Mr. Dixon, Haley, and their family, thank you very much for the opportunity. Mr. Larson and Mr. Lynn as well, thank you very much. Wonderful. Keegan DeMilla, no doubt Mia and Keegan's wife will be watching, and uh, very proud of their dad booting home. Well, not uh, <laughs> yeah, Mia's dad, not uh, Keegan's wife's dad. But uh, they'll be thrilled with us, no doubt. Let me just get to the right page so I can give you all the information you need. Lammas Kral stud bred this visionaire filly. Well done to you, Kling, and well done to you, Mr. Lin. She's certainly shown us today what she's made of. Well done to the Dixon team. Keep an eye on this horse, Vivid Jet. Five, four, two, and one. Those are the numbers that you're going to need. Races seven and eight still to come from a deserted Hollywood Bets Gravel.